Boy, timing is everything, ain't it? Just dropped that video this morning breaking down this, that, and the third when it comes to all the franchise tags. Then this, Ian Rappaport was on the Pat McAfee show, and he had a significant announcement to make, even though, I mean, we could have told you the same thing. I mean, the way that things are headed is kind of obvious, but nonetheless, uh, Ian Rappaport did say, with certainty, he said that the Baltimore Ravens are tagging Lamar Jackson. So they're going to slap that franchise tag on Lamar Jackson. But then there was a follow-up question where Ian Rappaport didn't have the most certainty. Uh, they asked, what type of tag is it going to be? Is it going to be the exclusive, the non-exclusive? Well, what, what is it going to be? And Ian Rappaport, he did say, I, I'm not for sure. I'm not certain on it, but I expect it to be the exclusive tag. Now, he did explain, as we explained in the video from earlier today, and I really appreciate y'all watching so much. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Uh, but Ian Rappaport did explain that with the exclusive tag, the price is it's a bigger price. It's a much more significant price. Right now, it's estimated to be around 45 mil per year. And again, with the franchise tag, you got to remember, all of that is on the cap right here right now ain't, ain't no breaking it up ain't no oh we're gonna we're gonna convert some of this into a signing bonus no with the franchise tag the whole 45 mil would be on the cap and so far at this point the ravens have about a little less than 28 mil in cap space so ooh, this is gonna be a busy off season for eric de this is this is his biggest off season ever this is his biggest off season ever um, but anyway, um, Ian Rappaport said that he, he anticipates the Ravens using the exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson because if they use the non-exclusive franchise tag on Lamar Jackson, then, yeah, that would allow him to negotiate with other teams and whatnot. And you can get two first round picks. But if you use a non-exclusive, that's all you can get is two first round picks. Picks. And he said with the exclusive tag, the Ravens, they can set up whatever it would be. They can set up the compensation. Like they will control that. So if they wanted two first round picks and two second round picks and two third round picks, he said that then they could do that. But with the non-exclusive franchise tag, it's only two first round picks and that's it. Then he goes to the other team, they give you two first round picks and it's done. That's a wrap. So, I mean, it, this is really no surprise or no shock or anything like that. Now, Ian Rappaport also did say that he doesn't anticipate the Ravens trading Lamar Jackson. Um, but he did say, well, but hey, anything could happen. It's notable. It's noteworthy, something like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but I just, I, th this just really confirms everything that most people have been uh, assuming that's going to go down. Um, they obviously still do have time to get a deal done if they're going to get a deal done. But like we've been saying on here, I don't anticipate them getting a deal done before several dominoes uh, fall into place. Again, one offensive coordinator, seeing Lamar, seeing who the Ravens hire there. Two, uh, what they do in free agency, because that would be significant as well. And then three, what they do in the draft, if Lamar Jackson was still here at that point. Um, somebody had a really good question earlier uh, in the video that we, where we talked about the different types of tags that there are. Somebody asked the question, what if it's a team that doesn't have a first round draft pick this upcoming season? Would they be able to still take part if the Ravens use the non-exclusive tag? Would they still be able to be a part of that? Uh, would they still be able to sign Lamar Jackson to an offer sheet, even though they didn't have a first round pick to offer this year and their first first round pick that they have, it doesn't start until next year? And that's a great question that I, I, I just don't know the answer to. I would think that they wouldn't, but at the same time, I just don't know. So I'm putting that question out to y'all, uh, just in case y'all find out before I do, which you probably will. Uh, what is the answer to that question? Can somebody who doesn't have a first round pick in 2023, could they sign him to an offer sheet? And obviously the Ravens are not going to use the non-exclusive franchise tag, but just so we have the information, just so we have the knowledge uh, for future franchise tag purposes, whether it be about the Ravens or about another team and they, you want to use a non-exclusive tag just so we can know. Um, so if anybody knows the answer to that, please feel free to put it in the comments section uh, so you can let all of us know. But anyway, 
Again, no no surprises with this, anything, no shockers, anything like that. This was something that was expected uh, to happen. Now, it's not official yet. They haven't placed that franchise tag on him yet. So, even though I know Ian Rappaport said, hey, it's definitely happening. And, I mean, we've been feeling like it's definitely happening, but it hasn't definitely happened yet. So, it won't be official till it's official, but, I mean, the way that things are going, I mean, I, I think a lot of people could see this coming from a mile away. Now! Um, something that we've been saying for the past couple of years on here is that, and I still feel the same way. And I feel like this whole situation has already gotten a little ugly. Um, but I think with the franchise tag, I think it gets even uglier. I really do. Um, because the franchise tag is, yeah, it's, oh yeah, the Ravens are buying out more time. Uh, it allows them to really hold Lamar down. To where it's like, hey, yeah, you ain't about to talk to nobody. You ain't talking to no other teams. We ain't going to talk to other teams if we want to talk to other teams. But you ain't talking to no other teams at all. This is the exclusive franchise tag. So you can only exclusively communicate with us. Now, of course, if they wanted to trade him to another team, they could do that. Uh, if Lamar didn't want to go there, he'd be like, no, I'm not signing with them. I'm not signing a long-term deal with them. I ain't doing that. Because you got to feel like if the Ravens do trade him somewhere, then that would be contingent on him signing a long-term contract with whoever his new team would be. Um, and if he didn't want to go to that team, he could fail the physical intentionally. That's all you got to do. Because if, if a trade happens and a player fails the physical, the trade is null and void. It's null and void. It's negated. So uh, he got ways where he could like hold out from being traded, where he could dictate where he goes on a trade. But... Um, it would it, it would be contingent on him signing a long term deal uh, with whoever that new team would be. So it's I I just think this the whole franchise tag things can get really ugly or uglier uh, because Lamar could be like and I I get it I get it from both sides I understand it from both sides Lamar could be like hey like what what else I gotta do like really what what else do I need to do. We, we, we really still having these same conversations and, and it's been years It's been four years and we still talking about the same thing We really can't come to agreement Y'all y'all want to give me some more money? Some more significant guaranteed money? What's up? Then on the Ravens on their side They could be like hey well We want to pay you da, 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 da. But what about the last two years? Last year you missed Five six games I think This year you missed like five six games I think so they could be, they, they, and they're going to use that. That's, again, it's negotiations. Both sides are going to play their hand. Ravens are going to say, but what about this? And Lamar's going to say, but what about that? And it's going to go back and forth and back and forth um, until a resolution is reached. Again, the only way this gets resolved, either long term deal here with the Ravens or long term deal elsewhere. So that would be him being traded. Now, um, something to think about, too. Uh, we, we, we mentioned it early a little bit, but how are the Ravens going to do this to where um, if they franchise tag him? Because, again, all that money goes on the cap, all of it, all, all 45 mil of it, if it's the exclusive tag um, or whatever. Whatever tag they use, all of it goes on the cap right away. Well, when Lamar signs, and now that's if Lamar were to sign that franchise tag, which I don't think he will. And I don't think he should because you got, you got to, uh, and actually, you know what? Think about this too. Either way this goes, Lamar does have a lot of power. Ravens have a lot of power, but Lamar also has a lot of power because think about this. Um, right now, if they, if they got about a little less than 28 mil and they do the exclusive tag and that's 45 mil, that obviously will put them over the cap. Now, going into the new league year, you have to be under the cap. But after the new league year starts, you can be over. So that's you can do that, but then you wouldn't be able to make uh, some different moves and whatnot. Um, but with Lamar Jackson, uh, if he doesn't sign the tag, obviously there's a lot of pressure there. But if he does sign the tag, then it's like Ravens could be like, oh, well, we, we really got to like maneuver this thing now. We, we know on Team Keep It Clean, they always talk about the cap is cap. <laughs> no, no, we really, we really got to show them the cap is cap. Because with Lamar, with that 45 mil sitting there, it would have just sitting there on the cap. Ravens gonna be strapped, baby. They gonna be strapped for cash, baby. And how you expect to move? How you expect to operate if you strapped for cash like that? So, 
hey man this this again this is the biggest the biggest and toughest offseason for mr eric da costa this is his biggest one yet so we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see the outcome of all of this and they they better get the moving because Oh man, this, 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 this thing gonna be crazy Whatever happens, it's gonna be crazy Whether they sign him to a long term deal Whether they trade him, whether whatever happens It's gonna be crazy uh, But we will keep you updated every step of the way Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all I appreciate y'all And we out